To be honest, I don't have any idea if the following sentence will make sense in English, but <laughs> you all have blown me out of my socks. <laughs> I have no words. Hi there, this is Luisa Heinzel. Welcome to my channel Junk Journal Art. Today I would like to announce the winners of my little giveaway challenge. So I was celebrating the 4000 subscribers milestone on my channel and I uploaded a video um, two weeks ago and yeah, <laughs> I haven't expected what happened. Uh, when I uploaded the video, I made this special thing on YouTube where you can have this little chat room next to the video. I um, actually made that to answer some questions, to yeah, come in contact with my subscribers and with my junk journal friends. And one of my German junk journal friends asked me um, what I will do when 4,000 people will join this challenge because <laughs> that would be uh, yeah, something like a small problem because um, yeah, the challenge was to make a junk journal tag with a really crazy tutorial that I uploaded with this video. So the video was a little bit, yeah, some kind of kaleidoscope and you couldn't really see um, what I'm doing there in this tutorial and you um, had to hear what I say and um, yeah, make this junk journal tag only with this instruction that you could hear from my voice but you couldn't see anything really clearly. And yeah, this friend asked me, <laughs> what will you do when you have 4,000 letters in your uh, mailbox at home and your mailbox will make something like BAM and um, yeah, you have this much amount of, of um, tags in your mailbox. And I thought, okay, this is seriously a joke because um, yeah, I haven't expected that so many people would like to join this. I said okay I could hang all those things to my wall and then my craft room would look really nice <laughs> and I said this yeah as some kind of a joke as well and but <laughs> after this video I think not uh, I think 10 minutes after the video was finished the first tag came to me um, in an email so you could uh, um, enter this giveaway with sending it per, per email or you could send a letter to me with a postage thing there and um, I thought okay some people are really really fast and the next days I got so many emails I, I can't explain I was so surprised and I'm so thankful for all those people um, who sent me all this mails and letters and love and um, in this video, yeah, I would like to show you something special because I want to say a really, really big thank you, even if this word thank you is not enough and not that what, yeah, what is, what's going on in my heart because this thank you is, yeah, only some words and, and it's not what I'm feeling and I think I'm not able to express in English what, what I want to say and yeah. <sighs> when you uh, perhaps want to watch my German video, I had to cry in the German version of this video. So you know I always make two versions of the video, one in German and one in English, so that the English um, subscribers, so that you can also understand me. And um, it's really hard for me to make this in, Eng in English and it's really hard for me to to resist that I don't have to cry because, yeah, all those lovely words, all those comments and all those texts that I've got, I think I got uh, over 100 um, people who wanted to join this challenge and I was so overwhelmed and I'm still, yeah, I, I can't grab these feelings and I can't express these things. It's some kind of friendship that I have all over the world suddenly in my life since I have this YouTube channel. I met so many people that I would never uh, be able to, to meet um, when I don't have this YouTube channel and 
I'm recognizing recognizing that my grammar is really really <laughs> weird today sorry I, I'm just so speechless about this thing and um, yeah let me try to explain why this is so special for me in my past so in my life I experienced many things about friendship and this word friendship is f something for me that I sometimes can't even speak out because I met I made so many bad experiences and yeah there were some things that um, the universe I think Siri would like to speak with me go away <sighs> sorry <laughs> there are some things that y the universe decided that a friendship is over for me so for example my best friend that I found here in Austria um, died um, with cancer a few years ago she was only 30 years old and that are such bad experiences and also some people who yeah who were really angry with me and I couldn't understand it and that stuff I, I you you hear I can't say that in English but perhaps you know what I mean and this challenge and your entries and your letters your mails and that stuff made me that I can come back to believe that friendship exists in this world even if we don't know each other and even if we are on the other end of the world friendship can exist and friendship exists and that's a thing that I couldn't expect and that I nearly can't believe that this feeling came back to me but every single person out there who joined this challenge and who is supporting my channel who writes messages and that stuff is one little piece of this whole thing that brought this feeling back to me and that's so so strange but in a positive way and I'm so thankful and I want to thank everyone who joined this channel sh channel <laughs> challenge <laughs> from the bottom of my heart so I thought about a really special way how I can bundle all those entries all those photos of text that you sent me um, per email and I also know that some of you that are overseas send this thing uh, with a physical letter so thank you very much um, until now um, no physical letter has reached me but I think that's a normal thing because the post thing is really slow this shipping way is really long and um, I think they all will come to me one day but I also <laughs> would like to say thank you to you that you made this effort and put this in a physical um, envelope and, and sent it to me and also all the emails I was so happy and I was so overwhelmed about all your nice words and, and yeah so <laughs> I had to think about a way um, how I can bundle all those things and make a memory out of it because I don't want to have um, these photos in on my computer or um, these physical letters in a box or somewhere else I thought about a really special way so um, I came to the idea for this because one of the German um, people who joined the challenge had sent me um, a letter and I thought oh it's really thick and really sturdy what is it so I opened it and there was not only her tag that she created but there was also um, a journal cover so it was from some kind of readers digest book and I was really happy because yeah <laughs> that was some kind of special thing and some kind of happy mail and then I thought okay uh, why not using this um, cover and make a journal out of all those entry things of all those tags and yeah <laughs> that was the plan and I thought okay I will use this Reader's Digest cover to make this journal out of it and then I had to go to my caravan so um, all the letters and all the things come to my other address you know in summer I'm here in my caravan as you can see and in winter I'm on my in my other home and all the um, letters and all that stuff go to the other home so I had to um, say to my hubby please call me when there are some new letters and that stuff so I went to the caravan and then you can't believe it 
I think every single hour he called me and said, Luisa, there's another letter. Today we have four and on another day there were two and then f uh, six and that stuff. <laughs> and um, yeah, it didn't last long that I realized that I can't put all those things into this little Reader's Digest uh, book. The spine of this book was, yeah, I think two or three centimeters. So uh, never possible. And then I thought, okay, I have to do it in another way and I would like to make something only out of the materials and the stuff that you sent to me. So all the emails, all the photos and all these physical things that came into my physical mailbox. So <laughs> the result, ta -da! <laughs> the result of this action is this special journal here. And I will tell you in a second um, some more details about that. And I will also flip through this journal with you. Um, so, yeah, that you can see what's inside. And so that you can also find your own tag um, in here. When it was a photo that you have sent to me uh, per email, then it's inside here. If you have sent it um, on the physical postage tray then um, it will come into this journal when it arrived here so yeah I had to record the video I can't wait until all the letters from overseas are here because yeah then I think we have to wait too long until we um, can announce the winners and um, I also have to say the following part of the video um, I recorded originally in German for my other video and what you can see there is that what I made and talked um, in German and I will make a voiceover now. So please don't be confused. Um, this uh, winner picking I did with the comment picker. So I think you all know that. I took my iPad and then I put the um, website link from the, uh, from the YouTube video in there and I draw, drew the winners in the German version of the video so that it looks for you like it is yeah, some kind of recorded. So yeah, I have to manage this in some way. So I decided to show you the original winner drawing and I also will tell you if you have won something, but um, don't be confused when my arms and fingers and that stuff are not yeah, synchronically with that what I'm speaking in the next part of the video. Okay, so I will turn the camera so that you can see the journal and yeah, I hope you like it as much as I like it. It's so special for me. I think it's the most special journal I've ever made. So enjoy this little video and perhaps you have won something. Good luck. Okay, so here it is and I can't tell you how much I am in love with this journal. Look how thick this is. It's incredible. And yeah, in here is only the stuff that I got from you with this challenge entries. So all the photos that you've sent me in email and all the physical letters yet that you've sent me, including all the gifts that you gave me additionally. And I'm so thankful and I'm so happy with this journal. I, I can't express. So the spine of this Reader's Digest book that I told you a second ago was like this. So yeah, never possible to put all the things into this journal. So I thought about um, yeah a solution to make a cover. So um, I had this plan in my head that I wanted to use only the materials that I had from you. So yeah, um, this one here, for example, one of my German friends sent me a while ago. So not with this um, giveaway challenge, but it's also a gift. And um, I wanted to have this character of this book, to have only the materials that um, yeah, are coming with this challenge, with this emotions all around this 4,000 4, subscribers milestone. And um, yeah, for this cover, I had to find a solution, as I said. So I came to, a, to the idea to use um, one of the packaging boxes. So I got one bigger package. There was not only this junk journal tag that the person created in this package, but it was um, yeah some kind of really, real happy mail. And um, this was a box out of cardstock. 
and as you can see this cover is this box so hopefully i can explain that in english that you can understand what i mean and what i did i took this um, box apart and as you can see it's really flexible this became um, a soft cover because i glued some clear tape all over the box and then i crumbled it as long as it needs to be this flexible and now it feels like some kind of leather thing because yeah it's so smooth of the, uh, because of this uh, thing that i made so i i made it like this several times so that it gets really soft but um sturdy as well then i um um applied a layer layer of matte medium and glued the stoilies and that stuff onto it so that um yeah it looks more elegant and also the clear tape is not such glossy anymore and it's so so beautiful um, I also attached this little tassel here and that's also made out of the materials that you have sent to me. Okay, so when I open it up, it looks like this. And as you can see, because of this flexible cover material, it can lay on my table really flat and I would have no problems to write in it, even if it is so extremely thick. So yeah, this material is just amazing and I'm so glad that I came to this idea to use this packaging material to make this cover. So this tag here that is loose here on the front uh, page because I had to take some photos is my own tag. So I know some of you are really excited to see um, yeah, what I made during this tutorial in this kaleidoscope style. You couldn't see anything. So this is what I made during this tutorial. And this little flower there on the bottom is this one piece that I wanted you to use as a special thing on your tag. And that um, I said shall be something that you have for a really long time, but you didn't use it. And this flowers I think I have for years. And yeah, now one of them is here. And I think you came to really, really special ideas for those items on your own tags. And they were really, really um, surprising ideas. So what you can, can see here on the right side is a new digital printable um, that is also available in my Etsy shop now. And as you can see, this matches the colors and the theme of this junk journal tag kit. So um, I have linked all these things down below in the description box. There's also an ephemera pack and also a collection with lined pages available. And I have to say that that was yeah some kind of happy accident. I prepared those pages for my Etsy shop to have some new items. And then this um, 4000 subscribers giveaway came uh, yeah through my way. And I thought, okay, why not using this tag kit for this challenge? So that's the reason why I have matching main pages for my journal. And these are the only pages I printed additionally. Um, the rest of this journal is made out of the things you have sent to me. So um, that means I printed some of the photos, as you can see here, made some pockets so that I can put the other photos that I also printed out into these pockets. And as you can see, I also um, included the physical envelopes that the people sent to me. So these are mainly the, uh, the envelopes from the German people and from the, um, yeah, this is from Switzerland, I think. And um, when the envelopes that you have sent me, yeah, the people who come from overseas, reach me i will also include them in some way into this journal of course and um i also printed all the emails that you have sent me so that i can read um over and over again what you wrote me and i think it's so incredible and so wonderful it's it's just amazing and as you can see, some of those pictures I printed to this tag shapes and there are some pictures that are bigger and some that are smaller. And I want to point out something that's really important for me that you know that, um, of course, the, th the size of those pictures has nothing to do with my opinion about your result and about your creativity and about your tag. 
So I just wanted to have some variations of the sizes in, the, in this journal. I don't want to make all those pages in uh, DNA 5. So that would be some kind of boring for me. So I decided um, that I yeah want to print some smaller and some bigger. But of course that had, has nothing to do with... Um, yeah the beauty of your results so every single entry um has the same worth to me of course um yeah so as you can see there are so many variations um and that's really really incredible and also the envelopes that came to me are so beautiful there are so many collages and and that stuff and i think our postman um, thought I'm a little bit crazy <laughs> when he brought this to me. So I will just pick my iPad and um, draw the first winner. I made this little yellow stripes because there are um, there is a total of eight people who can win something. And um, yeah, if you see your name, you have won um, a 50% um, coupon for my Etsy shop or a physical... Um, package this that has yeah some mystery junk journal pack so belonging to the comment that you left belonging to the fact if you are if you have joined the challenge with the tag or not you will win um yeah a coupon for my etsy shop or this physical yeah some kind of happy mail um surprise package so yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's press this button i'm so excited and yeah that's that's really really strange for me because it's always so exciting so um the first person is this name here uh i have problems to read it frauke vogt um so um she wrote that she um is yeah, she, she wrote some congratulations um, for my 4,000 subscribers um, on my channel. So she made no tag and she um, just left a normal comment. So that's wonderful, of course, as well. So she won this Etsy coupon. So I say she because uh, I think she's German. So <laughs> makes no sense if I would say you to her in this um kind of video stuff okay so let's just uh, write this down so that i don't forget it and um yeah so uh what do i have to say um let me wait a second i don't know what is following now what am i doing there oh i think i <laughs> i would like to tell you something about um, this special thing here so I got this in one of the packages as well so this is a special thing some kind of storage and I want to put this yellow stripes with the winners into it so originally it looked like this you can open it up and then you have this little box it's a really special system and as you can see here are some postage stamps in it that were gifted to me from a, a German junk journal friend and I just um, take those out and put them into my um, postage stamp album so that I can put the winners later on into this little thing. And then I can close it and glue it somewhere to the journal so that I can open it and look at the names and yeah, that I can be happy with the people that have won and I can glue it somewhere into the journal. So that's my plan. And I think that's really cute and a really cute idea to make such a little box. Okay, so let's go on in this journal. So um, for me, it's a really, really, really outstanding experience to have some of those um, tags in a physical way. So um, yeah, some of you also sent me some Easter greeting cards and that stuff. And that's such a great feeling to have these physical things in my hands that you have created. And of course, especially the things that were created with my digital paper are really special for me because, yeah, I don't know if you can understand that when you don't make your own digital paper because um, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking about what can I do for the people outside in the German junk journaling community. There are many, many new people at the moment. There are many people who say, oh, we are beginners. We don't have any materials. We don't know what to do. We um, don't have a printer, for example, and um, we don't know where to get our stuff. 
and um, to create something new, something interesting, something beautiful and also something helpful for those people is not always so easy. So I'm sitting in my craft room and I'm thinking about different layouts. I'm thinking about different pictures and that stuff. And I'm putting together such a junk journal tag kit, for example, or some other kind of digital paper. And of course, it's always um, yeah, some kind of surprise if the people out there like it, if you like it. And when then um, such great things come back to me, I could cry. I, I, yeah, to be honest, I, I sit here, I could cry the whole day. But of course, there will be tears of joy in my eyes when I cry. And also this little greeting card here. It's an Easter greeting card, as you can see. It's so sweet. And normally I don't like this hyper cute things. But this bunny and, and this, yeah... All those these things that are behind and all the lovely words, I can't express how much that means to me. This here um, is also a page um, I made out of some materials that were sent to me. So I got some old book pages that were single pages that I have sewn together. And then I applied this napkin. And um, perhaps you know me, I don't work with napkins really often and I don't like to glue that stuff because for me it's really a weird feeling to make that. But um, in this case, I enjoyed gluing this napkin, I can't tell you. <laughs> and there were also some people who made those lovely letters with those little um, pockets so that I yeah, can take this thing here and put it in there so the back side of this tag for example comes from this ephemera pack that's new in my shop as well and this would also fit um this other elements this fuzzy cut elements that you used for making the tag um and yeah i printed that the same size so that i can back the printouts with uh, this uh, tags from the ephemera pack so that um, these photos are not this naked white on the back side and yeah, as you can see, here are um, the lined pages that you can also get in my Etsy shop. And this, um, yeah, all these things would fit together if you want to make your own journal. Also, this pocket comes from this ephemera pack. You can see another piece of this napkin. And um, I also like all those different materials in this journal. So there are so many different papers and... Yeah, um, also this transparent paper is so nice. It's, it has such a nice feeling in that stuff. Um, I use this transparent paper to print the emails that you have sent to me. So, um, yeah, that I can keep this memory of the words that you wrote me in this journal as well. And there were so many sweet words and that's so nice. I, I can't tell you that's so incredible. So it, it feels so nice. <laughs> <laughs> but let's take um, the iPad and draw the next winner. Okay, so let's press the button. <laughs> let's wait. That is so exciting. So the next winner is Beate Heinz. She's also a really dear friend from Germany. And I'm so happy that she has won something. She has sent her tag, um, I think, a few hours before this giveaway was closed. And she wrote a really nice email to me as well. So she's the winner of the first Junk Journal Mystery Pack. So con congratulations to Beate. Um, yeah, <laughs> so let's just write down her name here to this yellow thing th so that I don't forget um, the names and, and that I know um, who has won which kind of prize. So let's put it into this little box here as well. And I think we will just draw another one. So let's press this. Okay, so the next winner is Rosi Jung. She's also, I think, from Germany. And she also wrote some really nice words about my channel and about my videos. And she um, also sent congratulations to um, the 4,000 subscribers. And yeah, congratulations to you, Rosie, if you see that. 
and you also won a mystery pack so because you also sent a tag to me so um yeah and you wrote me that you made the tag and that you sent an email and of course you sent one <laughs> so you um are winning the next um junk journal mystery pack so congratulations and yeah i hope everyone who wins this physical stuff will um have joy with it and and i think that are all materials in this packages that you can use for your own junk journals or if you perhaps don't like um what you have then um of course you can gift it to another person if you want and um what's also really strange is is that um the additional materials that the people send to me are all matching each other so for example this yellow paper also was in one of this happy mail um, boxes and um, that matches the rest of the paper that's really strange so of course all the tags look similar but um, you also included some of your own papers so for example this pattern paper from this little envelope here on the bottom and this green and turquoise paper that um, was added by the people who joined the challenge but it fits together and that's really strange yeah how could you know that i don't know <laughs> so this tag is attached in a little bit different way because it has this really long paper bed and two of those charms here on the um, bottom it says l and h so you can guess three times <laughs> what this shall be and i um, made this eyelet here through this journal cover and as you can see the tassel is attached here to this little uh, thread that's um, attached to the tag on the inside so um, yeah i made this little trick so that you can use this part here as a bookmark and put it to the other pages and that's the reason why the tag is hanging here like this i thought that could be a nice idea to attach such a tag as well here you can see one of the really beautiful envelopes and yeah i i'm so surprised how many uh, how much effort you put into decorating such envelopes and yeah the envelope itself is such a gift and when you open it and you see what's inside and how much joy comes out of this envelope it's so incredible and yeah i love this so much so um as you can see, um, I also included um, this bigger envelope. So this yellow thing, for example, was uh, this thicker kind of envelope. It had this bubble wrapping thing inside that was glued there. And I just um, took it and uh, tried to get it off really carefully. Uh, so I was a really lucky girl that that uh, worked. Here's some of my penguin paper and a really cute letter. And yeah, the people also included some of my other digital, some elements of my uh, digitals from my Etsy shop. And th that's so cute and so, yeah, so ah, it's incredible. <laughs> so here you can see how I attached the physical text that I got. So this way I have the possibility to write down something to the page. And I took some sari silk and then um, first attached the stripe of sari silk to the tag and then um, to the page so that I can flip this. Um, yeah, so that it's attached, but um, that's some kind of flip out and that I can use the page below um, to write something, to make some notes or yeah, perhaps when I get some more letters, I can include them there. So let's draw another winner. Well, this uh, writing here is so small. So the next winner is Nicole Richter. She's also from Germany and she also wrote some really, really kind um, German words. And she's a special person because, yeah, I know her for um, some time. But uh, let me first uh, tell you what she won. So she won the third physical mystery pack. Mm, and I just uh, write down her name here. So... Let me tell something about Nicole and about her feelings. So um, she wrote me several times that um, I am encouraging her to be creative and that um, she was, I think it's brave enough, I hope that's the right, right word, um, to publish things so that she had the motion to publish 
her own creations and um she had to um overthink this thing and she was a little bit afraid to send an email with her result to me and i want to say all of you who think um that their art is not good enough that perhaps people can laugh about it that um it's not good enough to show it to the world please don't have such thoughts and please create what your heart wants to create and please show it to the world i think i often said this but i think it's so important and um it doesn't matter what other people think about your art it's only important what you what you think about it and that your heart feels comfortable with what you have created and there's no um human being on this earth who is allowed to say anything um bad about your art so please show it to the world and i'm sure you will get some um reactions that you can feel positive about it and that you can be happy about what you created and what the people um give you back when you show your art and yeah here are so many beautiful and outstanding ideas for example on this tag there's this little um bottle closing thing on the top so um this green thing that you can see on the left um, top of this tag and you had so many great ideas so many things that I never expected and I think every single piece is worth it to show it to the world please don't be afraid if you think okay perhaps my tag is not such beautiful as others please just show it <sighs> yeah, and I think you can see in this journal there's so much beautiful creations and so much wonderful art in this world and it's yeah bundled in this journal and in this is just a journal of love for me. I, I can't I can't I can't tell you, I can't find any words. And on the right side of this page, um you can see something very special as well. Perhaps you can see that this tag on this um photo on the right side Uh, looks really different to the other things so that's because um, a person that is in my German um, Facebook group that's called Drunk Journal Deutsch um, made this and um, she had some problems to print the freebie so um, let me just show you that in de detail so that you can see it's really different so you, she used some different birds and that stuff and some different materials because she couldn't print this printable and i was so surprised i was i was so happy i had tears in my eyes because yeah there is so much going on in this junk journal community there's yeah or i can say in this art community because of course it's not only junk journaling uh and all the other people who are creative are reacting in this same way but um this was so special for me because she had this um will to make this and she wanted it and she she wanted to join the challenge she wanted to create this she wanted to follow the tutorial and yeah i was so happy that she found her own solution and made this with her own materials so please if you don't have the things Do it with your own materials. Do it like you are able to do it. And now let's choose another winner. So we have some um, of those things here left, of course. Um, so let's press this thing again. So the next winner is Heike Wanks. So yeah, <laughs> she's also from Germany. I think I have really many people from Germany now on my channel. Um, but I'm... Um, or um, I'm still making videos in English for the people who appreciate that and I'm so thankful that you are here so but of course the chance that someone for, from America will win is um, not such big as um, yeah the German people's chances are because there are so much more German people <laughs> so yeah let's see what will happen I, I will not um, 
tell you everything what will happen in this video because of course I know who the winners are because this is a voiceover. I told you that in the beginning of the video that I have to make this voiceover um, yeah, because I wanted to have this uh, drawing in real and live um, but I have to choose. So um, I made it in English, uh, I made it in German, sorry, and then now I make this voiceover in English. So but it's the same video and it's a live winner announcement. And Heike also um, wrote some, yeah, some words that brought me to some thoughts about this whole journaling process, this whole journal making process and this whole um, art community and this whole art process. So um, she wrote that she um, had not such much time to make the tag, but she started two times from from zero to make it perfect and that also shows me how much engagement and how much support is in this community and um, I want to thank everyone really everyone from the bottom of my heart for all your support and all the things that you do so when I sit there make a YouTube video and say okay let's make a challenge yeah who am I that I can expect something? But there are people out there who are watching my videos and who are following my tutorials who say that I'm an inspiration. And that's so incredible for me. I can't tell you. So in the meantime, I um, press this button again and um, we have another winner from Germany. So um, yeah, what I want to say is... Uh, if you see your name here, um, please write me an email. So perhaps there are some German names, but you are American or from somewhere um, where you see this English video. So if you have one and if you see your name here, please write me an email that I know where to send the prize to. So um, if you have won the Etsy coupon about 50% for my shop, I have to... Um, send it to your email so please write me an email that I know where to send it and also if you have won um, a physical prize and you saw your name and I said you have won the mystery pack then please write me an email so that I know your postage address to send this to you. Um, in the middle of this signature I included um, this thing here I also got this in one of these incredible packages so um, this is some kind of, so it was <laughs> some kind of envelope. So this is a really, really nice collage, as you can see. And um, for this um, envelope, there is some of my digital printables as well. And on the back side, you can see this is a normal newspaper. And I was so surprised. And I thought, Luisa, perhaps you are blind to see some simple things like this. When you make junk journals for a longer time, perhaps you get some kind of blind um, to see the simplest things. It's such a cool material, but it's, yeah, a simple newspaper. And I was so happy for this idea. And yeah, look at this. It's, it's so nice and it's really, really beautiful. I destroyed it a little bit, <laughs> sorry, so that I can sew it into this signature here because that's the middle of the signature so that I had some more um, space to include um, some of the emails. And as you can see, this thing here looks a little bit different than the others. And I'm so happy that I got also such results. So this was a, um, also a junk journal friend from Germany and she um, had no access to a printer that can print with color. So she printed it in black and white and then she colored it. What an awesome idea. That's, that's just so, so incredible. Um, yeah, and as you can see, I also got some fabrics and that stuff in this um, Happy Mails. And also this um, different materials are so nice when, when I can touch something in my journal. That's so, yeah, such a wonderful feeling. It feels like all those people are coming together in one place in this one journal, like a really, really big junk journal community meeting or something like that. And 
I would love to go out and and hug you all. So uh, for me, it's it's such an awesome community, and I think I would never be able to to experience that when I um yeah without this junk journaling thing. So yeah, it's it's just amazing. But let's choose another winner here. So I take back my iPad. And uh, yeah, <laughs> what am I talking there in German? I don't know. I'm uh, waving my hands, but I don't know why. I, I don't know exactly what I said in the German video. So it's really also really difficult to make such a voiceover <laughs> when you can't remember exactly what you said in the German video. So um, yeah, please excuse me. What am I doing there? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> But sometimes um, it's, of course, much more easy for me to express um, some things in German than in English, of course, because German is my mother language. And yeah, <laughs> I hope that my English teacher never sees my YouTube videos. So <laughs> that would be a really, really big disaster. Okay, so um, we have some Etsy coupons left. So let's see who has won it. If the comment is that, um, yeah, ne, uh, so what does this say? Uh, this says that um, Darcy has sent um, an email with a tag to me. So Darcy, please excuse, um, but um, all the main prizes have gone. Um, so let's choose another winner. So I uh, don't know uh, what's going on here, but here's Dar Darcy again. But yeah, it's a random comment picker. So the next winner is uh, Mops Mops. So um, that's a really strange and funny German username. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, when you uh, translate Mops Mops, you um, have... On the one hand, some kind of dog. It's a, it's a special dog, so it says two times the name of the dog. But it it's also a funny word for for your boobies. So it says some kind of booby booby. <laughs> Don't know if she knows that or if she has recognized that yet. But <laughs> yeah, she has one. Um, um, Etsy coupon about 50% so I say again she because um, she's from Germany as well and I think she will not watch the English version of this video if if uh, you see this <laughs> congratulations so um, yeah so um, another cool thing was this here so Maike from Germany sent me this tag and she included this little clamp here as this item that she uh, had for a very long time and never used it. And I think that's a really nice idea as well. And I think um, I would never came to the idea to use this, um, yeah, by thinking about it. But when I see such beautiful ideas, um, yeah, as I said, this journal for me, it's full of new inspirations, full of new ideas, even if it's made from the same base and from the same material and yeah the same digital printable so i i yeah <laughs> i should stop talking and uh yeah some of you also wrote me <coughs> excuse me that they um included feathers from their own birds so there was one lady from america um i oh my brain my brain there was over 100 names i can't really remember the name of this i i of this uh, lady i i don't know who it was but um, there were one or two or i think i think even three people who wrote me that they included um feathers from the birds and there was one lady who said she has a parrot at home and she used a feather from her own parrot i couldn't believe it that's so strange for me. I couldn't believe it. So, of course, um, here in Austria, um, nearly nobody has a parrot as a pet or uh, something like that. And that was, yeah, incredible. Really incredible for me. 
Um, and yeah, I think this letter here is also really incredible. As you could see on this card on the outside, um, there were three bunnies. I think this is this um, new um, Tim Holtz die card that this was made from. And this card comes from Sonja. I um, told you something about her channel in one of my last videos. So she's Sonja's Creative Echo on YouTube. And I really love her work. She's such an incredible artist. And she's such a lovely woman. And she sent me this. And she wrote... Um, that she um, couldn't um, join my challenge for some reasons, but she wanted to use um, this, yeah, 4,000 subscribers milestone thing to send me some Easter wishes and to send me um, some fan post things. So <laughs> that sounds weird because I don't like this word uh, or the sentence that I say I have fans, but some of you... Um, call their selves fans and and that's also some really weird thing for me but it was so cute for me um, that she sent this to me and there were some other people um, who sent such an easter card instead of joining the challenge because they had no time or uh, their craft room was reorganized or that stuff and they had no chance to join and i took this as an example to show you how sweet you all are and um yeah for all those who who send those um messages that you would like to join but you can't join because you have no printer or you have some other problems thank you so much for your words and for me um, it's no difference if you have sent an email or a physical tag or a photo or even some kind words. It means all the same for me. So even if you leave a comment, um, so uh, in this uh, quotation marks, only a comment. Um, it's the same worth for me as when you um, put your tag together and send it in a letter to me. And yeah, this support is um, so important for me and of course for my channel. And I'm so happy that so many people who joined the challenge also supported me on Instagram. As you can see here on the left side, it's an Instagram post. Um, some of them I printed out to have this um, memory keep as well. And um, there were so many people who tagged me on Facebook, on Instagram. And I want to thank you so much for your support. That means so much for me and for my channel and for my work and for everything that I can do. And yeah, of course, it um, helps that this channel can stay alive, that I can make more videos for for you, more tutorials and that stuff. Of course, more of those challenges if you want, uh, if you, uh, want this. Um, so thank you very much for this. And yeah, so here... Um, we come to another page with a really cute element. So this is um, a book page that is folded. And inside of this book, book page, as you can see, there's th this um, hole that's punched out. And there was a chocolate inside. So, um, yeah, of course, <clears throat> this chocolate is not there anymore. <laughs> so I needed it during i thought about how to make the cover for this journal but i put the packaging back inside so that this little hole that's on the packaging of the chocolate can look through this uh, little circle there so i tried to get it out so that you can see it better but it was too um yeah uh, it was too difficult to bring it out because the book page was really fragile and i wanted uh, don't want to destroy it so um, on the bottom here you can see this green thing. I cut that off from the chocolate packaging and then uh, glued it there so that I can use it now as a belly band to put this little note behind. Okay, so another winner, I think. <laughs> we have one um, Etsy coupon left over. So let's see what this machine gives us. So this is Uta Simco. Um, she's also in my German Facebook group. So, um, yeah, I can't say congratulations to Uta because she also sent an email with the junk journal tag, but all the physical prices are, um, have gone. So, um, yeah, let's choose the, another one. 
So um, the next one is Saika Wangs. We, we had her before, so uh, I have to press again. So um, then we have Nicole, but she also sent a tag. Um, okay, so now we have a name that I can't uh, spell, but I think you are watching this video. So uh, I think your name is Dawn, but I don't know how to say your uh, last name. I think it's Sprill or something like that. Sorry, I can't say that. So you have won um, this last Etsy coupon about 50% for my shop. Um, so please write me an email so that I know where I have to send this coupon. So congratulations. I'm really happy that um, one of the people overseas obviously has won something because, yeah, um, of course, I'm um, enjoying to make videos in English as well, even if this is, uh, yeah, some kind of weird <laughs> sometimes. So um, I will put all the winners in here so that I don't lose them. And um, yeah, so uh, for all of you who have watched the video until the end, um, I want to thank you really from the bottom of my heart for that for watching for joining for supporting me and my channel that means the world to me thank you so much and if you know me you know that always in this kind of videos in this yeah um giveaway videos there's some kind of surprise in the end so if you have watched the video until now and you have seen your name before so uh, when i picked the winners and I said, you haven't won anything because the main prizes had gone, then please write me an email if you have seen your name here and I said you haven't won anything because you will get an Etsy coupon for my shop about 50% as well. I can't be... Uh, yeah, I, 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 I can't... How can I say that? Um... It's really hard for me to say um, the comment picker picked you, but you haven't won anything because the four main prizes have gone and your comment um, yeah, is not um, available here for, for this challenge anymore. Um, because, yeah, you know me, you know me. So um, I had to do it with this comment picker because of the amount of the comments. And that's a machine, of course, and the machine uh, yeah, can't um can't uh, see if your comment says i want to win one of the main prizes or i want to have the etsy coupon i made a tag or i haven't made a tag so i have to use the machine so that's the reason why i decided that all the people um who were shown up there and haven't won anything until now will get a coupon for my Etsy shop about 50% as well. I hope that's okay for you and I hope you can understand those circumstances. I hope you can live with my weird English and yeah, <laughs> I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here with me. If you want to see some more detailed photos of this special journal, then please follow me on Instagram. I'm at Luise Heinzel. You can see this in the video screen um, on the very bottom as well. And I've also linked that in the description box down below um, as well, of course. Um, I would be really happy if you follow me there as well. So I will show you some detailed pictures, of course, of this um, journal if you are interested in that. And I also will list all the um, uh, entries, all the pictures um, that you've sent me on my website. So I have a gallery on my website. So it's everything is in German. I have to say that. But of course, you can um look at the pictures without understanding the language <laughs> so if you are interested to check that out you can also visit my uh, website that's also linked down below in the description box for you and as always if you have any question if anything is unclear or yeah if you have anything to say any requests no matter what it is, please feel free to write a comment down below this video. And I hope we will see the next time. I am starting a new journal very soon on Thursday. So I hope you will join me with some new tutorials. 
And yeah, see you the next time. Bye bye.